Well, listen, we got a young legend in the building, my brother DDG pulled up. What's up, man? What's up? What How you doing? been, man? Chilling. I know you just dropped the deluxe, you just dropped the album. Talk yeah. to us about it, man. How did that all come about? You know, it's uh, all genuine vibes with the features. You know, we got Offset, Corla Ray, Lakia, Polo G, NLE Chopper, Gunna. Babyface Ray, mm. Kevin Gates. That Kevin Gates track go hard. I was just yeah. listening on the way here. Appreciate it. That, that shit man. hard. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a great project overall. What's your favorite what's, your, what's your favorite song out of it? I know that's a tough question, but like if you were to name like one or two of your favorite ones out of it, like what would you put it? I think Love Myself with mm -hmm. Kevin Gates. With that one. I should go hard. And that line with um, my ex. What's the line with an ex? It said my ex left me. Not for everybody. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. I should go hard. <laughs> hey, that's relatable. That's why. <laughs> well, let's talk about your drip check, man. What you? I see you got gallery on. Yeah, just you like know, just, here. Just, you know, just little gallery pants, man. A little gallery shirt. You know, just little golden gooses. That was hard. It's supposed to be dirty, right? Facts. You know, just a little car, you know, regular. You chilling, stuff. you chilling. And it was recently, what, your birthday was yesterday? Yeah, what I got you? the same fit on. Was, you recycled the fit from yesterday? I just woke up, man. You, you was outside? I'm, I, woke, I I just woke up and I came here, bro. That's love. That just lets you know how much I care. That's the, that's love, that's love. He been, he been showing us love from day one. What'd you do for your birthday? So um, I saw all these pictures and IG posts. My family threw like a little uh, birthday party for me and then um, went out to eat. Not regular sick. shit, I'm regular 25, shit. Old, you know, I can't do too much. You're not in the club man. popping bottles no more. You yeah. retired for that life. Yeah, I'm cool about that, man. All right, so let's get you dripped out. What size shoe you wear? We're 11. 11? My foot actually grew. Do your, what, at what nah, age do your feet? My shit's all, oh, for like early, like when I was 16, 17. I ain't grew since then. I was a 10 and a half for a long ass time, bro. And then like recently, like this past month, I've been like an 11 for some reason. You grew in height? I don't know what happened. I think. How the fuck, is that, is that possible? <laughs> I think I was ten and a half and I'm eleven now for sure. I think everybody I think everybody like like around the world recently yeah. over the past couple of months foot been growing like oh, well, what happens if the, 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 the factories are making ten and a half smaller? I'm not gonna lie, I hit twenty-four and my, my foot grew at half size. Dead ass? I'm dead ass. Kind of shit going on so in this world. Got, I just that's what I'm saying. They, nah, I that's a salmon out, out here. here. Hey, it's a scam out here. Hey, Drew, I heard you having a new kid, by the way. You want to break the news? Yeah, break the news now. Huh. Show you my kid right here. Yeah, yo. Yeah. Speaking of kids, DDG, when, did you ever plan on having some kids? I know you're in a relationship. Plan on ever having kids? Mm -hmm. I'm getting old, bro. I gotta get married. I gotta have kids, all that shit. Yep, I just turned 31 Damn. last week. I know I'm old as shit. I gotta have a kid. But you know, the way the, this, li this lifestyle, kid. the way this lifestyle is set up, man, sometimes you gotta just do what you gotta do. When you have a kid, you're gonna have to take over cool kids. 100%. I can't do this forever. All right, let's get us dripped out. Size 11. He, John, we got anything new yesterday? Anything that he might not got? Something that, because I know he got everything. Yeah, that's the hard part. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's the hard part. Any other big purchases you've done recently? Outside of like this fashion, oh. the house, car, anything? I've been pretty conservative lately. I've been doing really good. Any investments? Investment wise, yeah, like, you know, regular shit. Crypto and bullets. I ain't really fucking with the crypto right now. Man, that's just, that's just fuck everybody up. Uh, I ain't fucking with that I'm shit. Not, I'm not investing in no crypto no more. I usually buy a car every year for my birthday, but didn't. I just bought a new car too last week. Lambo truck. For real? Yeah. You, you like it better, don't you? I like it better. It's I still like, got the rolls, like, but. It's like driving a car. It's smooth. It's like driving a car. Yeah, Hardy B just sent me this shit yesterday. They said if you want to add these, look, look at this shit. The little kit. You got, you got a, you um wide body yours? Nah, I ain't, do that. I ain't do that too much. Yeah, they sent me this shit yesterday. 50 G's. 50 K. Yeah. Cool. Let me you got the trousers already? He probably already got these. No, I don't got these. There it is. I'm just. You seen those, right? Yeah, yeah. We got the unreleased eBay's for him, or was that not a size? Show it to him. No, I wanted, I wanted to get his reaction. And if we got the unreleased Travis's too, if you could bring those. How y'all be, y'all be hitting up Travis Scott and stuff and shit? Nah, nah, we just know people that we can't mention. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, these hot. These joints is hard. These ain't even out yet. These come out like next it's year. The eBay, the eBay Ooh, collabs. Jesus. Oh, what's that? Insult? Great? That insult is crazy. Wait yeah, a minute. breaks it down for you. No way I got them joints yet. Yeah. Except me, I posted it on my birthday. These is different. What the that fuck? Is crazy. Get that on camera. 
Hvor mange er det? Hvad sagde du? Det er 10. Det er 10. Ja, det er 10. Jeg har taget en cell out. Jeg har ikke fedt dem, men jeg ved ikke. Det er hårdt, right? Do we still get the Travis's unreleased, or we sold them? I know we sold the 10. This bitch is hard, eh? This shit's hard as hell. What the fuck? Hi. Would you wear those with Come on, Bree! Would you wear those with socks? How? Oh yeah, you have your toes a little bit outside. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the insole, but you can see your insole. Yeah. Yeah. But the insole had to know um, and the, the person the in the picture. Oh, you know? wear any color shirt as long as you got the same sock color. I wear with white socks. This is crazy. We got some flavors from. Them. I'm, I'm so surprised happy. you don't got these. I'm so happy it's my birthday, man. Yeah, for you to get me right. <laughs> I'm so happy, I'm happy it's your birthday. I got you uh, one pair now. I was wearing these good ones. <laughs> I bless you for, for showing love always. <laughs> Comment down below to everybody watching this joint. Cop a drop. This is one of my personal favorites. It's just hard. Ebay, eBay don't even got these yet. Travis Scott wore these at um, Brownie birthday party. You did? Seen them bitches. I always wanted some and shit. And then it just so happened to be my birthday. That shit crazy. Cool kick. Show cool kick. So much love. Man, man. We always show love. Hey, we know. 99. What? Jeez. <laughs> Crazy. He's nice too. Is that any other good shit that you might maybe like? We got some good stuff. Let me take them back there. Do you like 11 up? I wear in the and forces, I'm gonna throw the 10 though. Maybe yeah. like a 10 and a half. So 10 and a half, 11. Yeah, the other shit on me. Where'd that have from? That shit hard. Gallery. Oh, that's gallery? Mm -hmm. That shit hard. My man's got it from me for my birthday and shit. Sex. Yeah. My boy sponsored my gallery, got a whole gallery put on. <laughs> I ain't paid for none of this shit. Fuck it, that's how it's supposed to be. We got like the other ones too. The I had you those. The I had these, but I ain't really wearing them. So you sold them, you had them? Yeah, I sold these motherfuckers. Yeah. I sold them to my brother actually. But I'm, the other ones, I think I wore the other ones more. The, the new ones? Mm -hmm. The cream color? Yeah. You yeah. like ones? You like Jordan ones? I'm not really. He got the trophy rooms? Show him the trophy rooms yeah, up top left? Room. I don't know if he got those. He's cool. They straight. I don't really be fucking with Jordans like that, to be Bro. real with you. you like Why not? I just don't. I don't know. I just grew out of that shit. That's so. how it is for me, too. You had a Jordan face? Yeah. You used to wear a lot of J's? Nah, I don't. If you saying like particular Jordan brands and shit, mm -hmm. I can't. I don't even know what you're talking about, bro. You just gotta show me them bitches. But growing up, you used to wear J's? Yeah, my mom used to buy us fake J's. <laughs> she used to have fake Jordans. I had some some shit that never came out before. Well, I, I got the it. same stories. Like, but I used to do buying, I used to buy and sell shoes. Oh, for real? I was on like a local little Facebook group. I post my shoe, dead stop, you know. Pull up at the mall, sell the motherfuckers. For real? Yeah, I used to flip Let me shoes. find out DDG was a reseller back in the day. I was. I was a reseller. That's so, crazy. That's cool. Hey, well, how was it? it was, you was making some money? Not that much. You know, like probably profit like. But it'd be old shoes that I already wore a little bit. Mm -hmm. I already got my little outfits off with them. And then I just resell them for like, I might lose like a few dollars or I might make a 50, 50 bucks or some shit. You used to wait in lines for sneakers too? Sneaker releases? I never, I never did that. My brothers used to do that shit though, but I used to just do my shit. That's crazy. That's how I got in the shoe business. I went to a yard sale, saw some Jordans for cheap, some Jordan 13 Flints. I got them, cleaned them up, sold them on eBay, made money. I was like, damn, I could probably get the business out of this shit. Mm. There you go. Like, 10 years later, we're here now. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, damn, we got the skunks? Yeah, we got the skunks. Man. Sheesh. That's These nice. These guys are nice. Different, different, different. You seen these before? Nope. I don't wear a lot of colors, man. This like this is a rare like anybody that support me that's watching this right now, they know. This is a rare sighting. I don't wear blue jeans. All I wear is all black. That's like my main fit. For real? I want to switch it up for my birthday and shit. I'm Jeez, surprised so you I, up right now and not hung over. Or yeah. you hung over. That's why the first I, thing you said I need some water. Yeah, I, I mean I ain't drink too much last night. Had a couple drinks. Cool shit. These cool though. The Travis's though. I'm fucking throwing. But right, let's do the Travis's then. What else you got planned? That's uh, your album's out. You planning on tour anytime soon? Like what you got planned? Yeah, we putting it together right now, man. You know, I'm just excited to get new music out. A lot of good music. As, as an artist, I always want to ask, I've asked other artists this, the way people do streamings now and album sales is way different than what it used to be. Mm -hmm. well, what's your what's your um, opinion on that? I'm, I'm just curious of your, your point of view. Well, with my projects, me being like, I feel like I'm a skeptical click. You know what I'm saying? For some people that just know me from YouTube and shit. Yeah. So it's, 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 it's a skeptical listen. You know, so it's like, my first weeks ain't gonna be as big as a motherfucker that's more hype beast. 
of an artist. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm hype beast. But you still get your respect in yeah, the, I get in the my industry. Yeah, I get my respect, but my shit grow over time. So it's like, I feel like the first week number shit is just like deterring <laughs> people from listening to good projects. Mm. You know? But there's a lot of like even bigger artists lately, like they'll still you do got like 20, like, 30. What's his name? What's his name? Um, Steve Lacey. Right, okay. with the bad habits on. Okay, his shit didn't sell like crazy first week. You know what I'm saying? And it picked up. He number one right now. Yeah, <laughs> it's like it nigga number one got the number one song in the country right now. So they need to start doing maybe the first 30 day type of thing and sales yeah, they need to instead do first of first month week. sales. Yeah. That's the fuck they need to start doing first month sales because shit grow over time. So it's like this is weird. I'm I'm curious how to calculate that shit. It's like a whole algorithm. It's like they do it. they do weird shit, bro. It's like every 3,500. I'm I'm learning. Yeah, so I'm learning the finesse. Cause you see how Bad Bunny sell like a hundred K a week. Yeah, that's unreal. I go on this nigga YouTube, he got a fucking visualizer, lyric video, boom, boom. Cause every 3,500 streams on YouTube equal one album sale. Oh, even on YouTube? Yes. Uh. So it's like, he got a fucking visualizer. Just all he do is sit on, the, he's just sitting on the fucking beach, right? But it's a 360 visualizer. Okay. So you can look around like on your phone and like, you can just look around in 360. You know how 360 videos yeah. is. And he just play a song in the back. Got 80 million views on that shit. Uh, 30, you did, what's, let me do that. That shit crazy, I never knew that's how it worked. Tell you bro, so many finesses. Then you can fucking do pop-ups and sell CDs in person and, and partner way. with merch. Like it's just. What, you can sell merch and get but sales? But it's like, a, I feel like an artist shouldn't even have to do all that extra shit. At that point, it's not even about the music. It's just about the fucking tweet. The rollout. Um. It's No, it's about a tweet. And a month, and a motherfucker saying, "Oh, you sold this much for his week, cool. but that shit really don't even fucking matter." Let me see, eighty million. There's a bunch of people that drop. YG drop, Kid Cudi. That's, that's, someone told me Kid Cudi did like twenty, thirty. It was just surprising. He sold twenty-two point eight of one little visualizer. Damn. So that's how he's getting those hundred k. Selling a hundred k a week. A week still, weeks later. Not his album's fire too. Yeah. At the same time, yeah. so you know it's different when your music fire. And you sell it crazy. That shit's crazy. Yeah, tour, shit crazy. Yeah, huh? tour, right? Yeah. yeah. He touring selling out major arenas. It shows he did Soul Pop Stadium like two days in a row. Three days. Three days, maybe. And don't speak English. This shit's crazy, dog. That like global fan base. I'm like about to start. I'm about to start rapping in Spanish in a minute. Too. Hey, let me find out. <laughs> we need to open up another store. We just um, announced our new startup. We just raised five million out of fifty mil valuation. We're basically creating a competitor to StockX, like a marketplace in the Web3. So imagine you got like 10 shoes in a closet, you ship it to us. Mm -hmm. We authenticate it and then we store it in our vault. And then we give you a digital representation of those collectibles in your wallet. Oh, so you can, now you can buy, sell, and trade without having, ever having custody of the goods. Oh, so yeah. if you're a reseller, you don't really care about holding on to it. You'd rather resell it without having custody of it. Mm. So imagine having this in our vault for a thousand six months later and without touching it goes up to fifteen hundred like a stock You can sell it without ever touching the goods mm. It's about to be about to change the game That's fire Yes sir I won't actually send you that shit and put you on with that yeah, dude, Make some money together I, have, I might I might have been capping about the foot bro So if it's 10 half fit or 11 fit? This got a little room in it So this, certain this shoes then you 11 There's certain shoes like some Balenciagas and shit I used to wear it for 43 but they ain't got half sizes, so mm. I'm about 44s now. But I guess it's different with like streetwear type shit. Ten and a half, that's cool. Fuck it, let's do a ten and a half. Let's get it. I don't think I, I don't think I haven't got these yet. Y'all gotta uh, cook a uh, cook a used pair for me in here for the like 300. You know, I've been getting. Get, you know, as I get older, I'm getting cheaper. I don't know what it is. Is that common? Get it rich. You gotta you gotta get rich. I'm trying to retire. I'm trying to retire by 35. So I got 40. So you got that Rolls Royce just off the kick, off the cool kicks? Yeah, that one. I do other stuff though too. I don't like restaurants. I, I, I invest in like tech startups too. Startups where I like multiple my money in the early stages. But I just do other shit like other tech companies. This is, this is cool though, but everybody eat in there. That new thing I told you about, that's the game changer. Yeah. DDG pulled up, blew a slight bag. He didn't even blow a bag, it was his birthday, so I was like, fuck it, he been a day one supporter, his album go crazy. He about to start a family. So we had a blessing with a pair of Travis's Travis on the house. gonna put in the title or something. Huh? wants to start a family. Yeah. Fuck it, should we? <laughs> nah, that's what typical YouTubers do. I ain't clickbaiting that shit. Unless you think it'll give views, fuck it. Fuck it, nah. That's what we did with the Lana Rhodes video. That shit went viral. I don't know if you saw that. We did a video with Lana Rhodes last week. That shit fucking went stupid viral. Why is she yeah. ringing it up? What? <laughs> It's off the camera. It's like that. It's like that. <laughs> Look, 100% discount. Look, where the fuck it go? So the total. Let's just show the receipt. Mm. 
The shoe was 1400 Look what we did for my boy. 100% off for his birthday. Happy birthday. Yee! Appreciate you always being a real one. Good luck with all your success. Appreciate Before it, we end this video, you got any words of advice for anybody watching this video right there? Hey, man. Follow your dreams. Don't do crack. It's the best advice I can give you, man. Follow your dreams. Don't give up. And, uh, yeah, stay consistent. Work on, I've been saying this lately in all my little interviews and shit. Work, and he'll tell you, you're supposed to work on the days that you don't want to work. Mm, Those are the most important work days. Bars, to everyone out there, thank you for kicking with a cool peace. <laughs>